Oh, I, I rather you say they, I, my engine convert the reciprocal, I mean the rotating motion into reciprocal motion. No. What it does is converting the linear motion when the piston is pushing down, is bringing down the, the gear rack. And the gear rack is rotating the gear, they also have a clutch. So that allows the gear just to rotate in one direction. So when the piston is pushing up back again, the gear clutch is release the, 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 the shaft, so that means it's just going to keep rotating in one direction. By doing that, it's always going to be making mechanical power. Because the piston, the, the, the gear are going to be pushing up and down, up and down. So the, the reciprocating motion is going to convert in, into the gear, they also got a clutch, into mechanical power. It's always going to be rotating just in one direction. We're going to, we're going to have the, 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 the crankshaft. But the crankshaft do not have nothing to do with the power on top. The crankshaft is going to be used to use the, the momentum of the crankshaft to put the, the compression cycle. And also, it's going to be used also to prevent the, the piston from going all the way down and hit the bottle or damage the bottle or going up and damage the top. If the, we got my unfortunate on the sprocket, if the sprocket doesn't light up, but if you, we don't have the we don't gonna have the problem on thinking that this is gonna break the top because it's gonna go hit all over the top. That the the crankshaft is gonna prevent that from happening. Crankshaft also gonna be used to connect the starter in the back. So when the you start the engine, the starter gonna rotate the crankshaft and you're gonna put compression inside the cylinder. So for the first cycle to start, as soon as the first cycle starts. Everything's gonna keep going the same way, but we're not gonna take out no power through the crankshaft. All the power is gonna be taken out from the top. You see? Because this is connected, this is connected to the piston, it's not connected to the crankshaft. This is connected to the piston. So every time it's pulled down, it pulls down, like I say, the gear, they also got a clutch, so that we're gonna make that convert it into mechanical power. Okay. The linear water flow into a mechanical motion is converted this way. You got two pistons pushing side to side, right? When the piston is pushing side to side, this going, this alternate. When this alternate, this is going to be connected on the front, right? When this alternate, this over here, this is a one-way gear clutch. So this always going to rotate in one direction. No matter which way it go, it's always going to rotate in one direction. So that's the way it works. If we got one way gear box rotating in the gear on one direction all the time. When I was talking about the water gear pressure, I was talking about the imagine this is the, the water jetting the the water to the to the system. That means it use the 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 pressure to convert the water into jet. So it's not the pressure really that's going to be hitting over here. It's going to be the water speed that the water pressure inside is going to be sending. So when the water speed is sending, when the water pressure is sending, the water with that speed is going to be hitting over here. So you're really not using the pressure because if you stop the turbine, what it's going to do is it's just going to splash water everywhere. So the water pressure inside is going to send water with the speed and the power to rotate this. It's not going to be using the pressure inside to rotate. The only way you can use the pressure inside is when you're using hydraulic. The one drop of water, uh, whatever PSI you're pushing over here, you're going to convert that into movement. So if you put, if you put one, one cubic inch of water inside, that means it's going to, if the, 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 the cylinder is one cubic inch, so that means it's going to rotate that with a one cubic inch of force. Right? So whatever amount of pressure you put over here, it's going to transfer that to here. 